I'm going to make a, a couple of comments about uh, uh, Fred Lennon, the Lennon uh, trophy behind me. This is a, a very important day for me. It's a very important day for the family. This is a gentleman that uh, is a very, very quiet, very sincere, very important person in Cleveland, one of the most successful businessmen ever in the history of Ohio, if not the United States. Being Irish was also an advantage. Uh, so we're here in celebrating uh, Fred Lennon. He's talking about someone that was a person that contributed, contributed, contributed in every way. When they were looking to add space and area on the west side around the St. Ignatius School. Fred was there with the capital and made the investment. When Gilmore and other schools were looking for contributions, he was always there. He was a very low-profile individual. He's still a low-profile low profile individual. But this found is about as far as I think it could go as the family. To honor him, you won't see his name very often anywhere. And I hope this is a tribute that uh, he's looking down and is happy with. And before we have Father Donald uh, bless the, the fountain, bless the Irish, I'd like to introduce first uh, John Lennon. John Lennon, over John. John is uh, Fred's son. His sister, uh, Kathy, is, uh, couldn't be with us today, but she sent the best uh, in Kelly Ryan and Tim Ryan. Kelly, come over here for a second. Tammy, come over here. And we're very fortunate, I will assure you, we're very fortunate that we don't have all the Lennons here. Because we would, we would be back in the back 40. But uh, again, and I've asked John just to say a few words uh, about you know, what he would think this would mean to his father. And as we talked when he first came here, he said, you know, Dad would really like this. So, uh, John, say a few words for us, please. Say, uh, Ed Crawford and I have known each other since we were five years old, uh, and that's a long time ago. <laughs> but uh, Ed called me recently, and he said, "I would love to have you come down and see this, uh, see this uh, fountain." I'll move it for you, John. Huh? I'll move it for you. <laughs> see this fountain, and uh, uh, and this was done with a lot of love and labor by Ed, his idea, and the people that he surrounded himself with, who you just met some people. And I think they've done a wonderful job. I came down today and I looked at this, this testimonial to my father. My father, his whole life was simple, K-I-S, keep it simple. Simple, simple, simple. And this fountain reflects the way my father's life was led. And I, I met Eddie uh, one time later, a little bit later, after <laughs> five years old, and uh, we sat down one time and I introduced him to my father. And uh, uh, Eddie and I have always had a, a kind of a mutual interest in business, and I introduced him to my dad, and they sat down, and Eddie, and my father clicked. It was a media click. And my father said, John, I like that young man. I think he thinks right. I would like to help him. And that's how this started. Remember that? And <clears throat> so it was a, uh, I think, a wonderful marriage between Ed and my father. And <clears throat> I, I see a lot of Ed in the way that he does things. And I saw, obviously, the way my father did it, and uh, there's a parallel that I see, and it's reflected right here behind me. And I just want to congratulate you and uh, your thoughtfulness in putting this thing together. So I, you should be very, very happy, and I'll tell you, the Lennon family uh, is very happy. So thank you very much.